Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros and I'm here with another video and in this video I'm going to be starting a two-part series where I basically do a setup revamp. I'm basically going to redo all my stuff on my setup, redo cable management and that sort of stuff and we're going to be starting with part one which is the case upgrade. So what I have right here is a Salon Base 600 which is from Be Quiet. Really awesome case which I did a review on so if you want to check the review it will be up in the eye in the top right corner. Be sure to check that video out. Uh, Be Quiet was nice enough to send over their case so props to be quiet for sending that over and what I mean by case upgrade is we're gonna be slapping in this NZXT light strip it has red LEDs it's sleeved it looks really nice I just got this sent to me the other day so we're gonna put that in there and basically test it out and see how well it looks because I do have a side panel on this case as you can tell and I really think this case could look a lot better if I actually color it up and make it look good and not have it sit on my floor which will be part two it's basically me moving this pc onto my desk and then rerouting the cables to run underneath the desk to come out from the top of the desk go underneath the desk and then come out through another hole which i just need to make a couple more grommet holes which i actually want to make grommet holes not just random holes in my desk make them look a little more professional and actually get that set up and working. So what we're gonna do first in this episode, as I mentioned, is we're gonna be taking my PC after this video finishes rendering for some reason, it's having a lot of issues. My PC shouldn't be taking six hours to render this video. I don't know, we'll look at that in a minute. But we're gonna move this case up here and then we're gonna do some modifications after this is done rendering and we're gonna clean it up a little bit, add this LED strip and see how well it looks. So let's get right into it. All right guys, so as I mentioned, I'm gonna be adding this NZXT light strip to the case. I'm basically just gonna do a time lapse of me messing around and trying to put this in and then we'll do a little bit of an overview and I will give you a recap on how well this stuff actually works for install. Um, so yeah, enjoy the time lapse. Alright guys, so I finished routing the lighting strip and really I made some mistakes doing this but you know, this is my first time actually routing lighting strips like this. First of all, I used way too many of the clamps on the bottom which if I could do it over I put one, two, three, four, and then four up on each side and it would probably work better. But really with the side panel on, which I'm going to go ahead and stick back on the tripod here and I will slide the slide panel on. Okay, so if I slide the side panel on, which is over here. It really doesn't even show up. So if I put it on, you don't really notice anything, which is how this is supposed to be on anyways. So if I take it off the tripod here, oops. yeah. Okay, so as you look, you can't really tell anything is there. Like there's no wiring, there's no extra wiring, and it looks good. So we're going to plug in the system and power it on and see how the LED works. All right guys, so it's the moment of truth here. I have my system plugged in. As I said, this is gonna be moved to the top desk shortly, but we're gonna be doing a power on test to see how well these LEDs work. So here we go. Boom. So 
They actually have a really nice red glow to them and it matches really nice with this case. I really like that I picked up the red color scheme. It looks really awesome. And if we go to the back over here, you can tell that there is a switch on the back so I can power it off, power it on, and there's different brightness levels. So I'm gonna go to one, two, wait, wait, wait. There's one, two, oh, two, three. Sorry, it's a little sensitive. But if I wanna go max brightness, I can, or if I wanna go to a little bit lower brightness, I can go all the way down to one, which adds a little bit of a glow. But I prefer to leave it on three because the brightness isn't that bright. My camera actually makes it look a little bit brighter than it actually is, but it looks really, really nice. And it's a really nice LED strip set. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like. If you dislike this video, leave a dislike and comment what you think I should do to improve this video. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more content from the Toasty Bros. And stay tuned for part two, where I do a cable management redo of my setup and give you some tips and tricks on how to do the same thing. Peace out, guys.